review, comparison review of the Neverfull pochette that comes in all new Neverfulls with the pochette accessoire. Obviously the main difference you can see one is completely flat and one is not. This one's quite deep. The pochette does up into the um, D-ring with the wristlet, little leather wristlet attachment and the pochette accessoire can also be turned into a wristlet if you undo the hook here and attach it to that side. The Neverfull pouch is one continuous piece of canvas. It's actually been folded over from the top and then they've got the, um, the hole cut out for the zipper. So if you look on the corner there you can see there is no seam it's that's one fold and folded on the other side so folded over cut out a hole in the middle for the zipper and then stitched in place and glazed along the edge the pochette accessoire is actually three pieces of canvas so the LVs are on the correct side um, right side up on both sides so the front the back is another piece and then the third piece is the um, insert there holding the front and back in place the Neverfull pochette has got the Louis Vuitton uh, wording there upside down on the reverse side of it where the wristlet is. Both can be hooked up into the D-ring inside the Neverfull. This one is perfect for documents. Um, I've got passports in here and some paperwork and it's great for a, an iPad mini or anything that you've got that's quite flat. This one, however, can fit a lot more inside it. So at the moment, inside, I've got some mitts, a packet of tissues, I've got a little zippy coin purse which um, I keep as a wallet for now. I've got my phone with the case on it and my keys on a clay. Also a compact and a lip gloss. Now I'm going to try and get all those items inside of the Neverfull pochette. So I think I'll start with my phone, my little wallet, lip gloss, compact tissues. Try the keys first. And as you can see, nowhere near as much stuff as the pochette accessoire. The great thing about the pochette accessoire is also it can be worn on the shoulder whereas this one doesn't have any attachments, um, any gold rings or anything to attach a little chain to to be able to wear it on the shoulder. So it is purely a clutch or a wristlet. And this one can be a clutch, a wristlet, a shoulder bag, and you can um, attach a nice gold chain for evening use or the a monogram strap that I also have in one of my other videos to wear it as a crossbody bag. So when I got my Neverfull I had no choice. I did have to get um, the Neverfull pouch came with it 
and it is a great little piece if you don't have anything like a pochette accessoire um, but because I had this bag I've had this one since 2014 I prefer to use this attached into my Neverfull um, for security and also because I can fit a lot more items inside for example my sunglasses I can often just throw them in there and keep that inside my Neverfull whereas you can't do that with the Neverfull pouch because it is so flat anything that you pop inside that isn't flat is going to make the zipper go a little bit wonky they can both be put on the D-ring inside the Neverfull obviously this is the the matching pouch matches the outside of the bag and the red and the brown does look really good together the pochette accessoire can also be attached to the D-ring and I think also works equally well as an accessory to the Neverfull and it does hold a whole lot more so because I had this bag first I ended up selling my pochette um, if you are interested in buying the Neverfull but you don't necessarily want the pouch there seems to be quite a strong market um, for this pouch on eBay or consignment stores so you could always sell the pouch and maybe invest in a matching um, pochette accessoire which you can wear so many other ways and it still can be worn as a great accessory for your Neverfull. Mm -hmm.